mid-July at about, I'm going to say five o'clock-ish, maybe a bit earlier, on a Sunday morning. Um, we've been called out to a couple of people while camping, a couple of ladies I think, um, who, well it's a difficult one this one. Um, they've been camping up on Kinder, um, I don't think they've gone properly equipped and it's been cold overnight and they've got really really cold, they're worried about, uh, one of them's worried about the other one, um, you know, it's shivering really badly so they've called a uh, cold mountain rescue which is kind of fair enough, um, the problem is they've, we've lost contact with them after that point so that's the only piece of information we've got, they're up on the top of the plateau somewhere, um, we don't know much else, we don't know whereabouts so the, uh, the controller, because the call goes to the police, it then goes to a mountain rescue controller who then decides which teams to call out. Um, so the controller has uh, started the Kinder plan. So that's basically all the teams that surround Kinder um, get called and we all go up. So there's ourselves, there's Glossop team, there's E-Dog team and there's Buxton team. We've all been called out. Um, we're all coming at it from different directions because we don't know whereabouts in the plateau they are. It's huge up there. Uh, so, what, the one thing we have found is we've managed to locate their car, which is in Bonebridge car park down at the bottom on our side. So we think they're probably on, in our patch on, on the kind of western edges of Kinder somewhere, maybe at Kinderlow, maybe at the downfall. We've been, our, our job is to uh, just head up this track here, which is going to take us up the Three Knolls path, up to the downfall. We've got search dogs coming in who are currently looking at Kinderlow and a bit of the uh, that, that kind of area, Buxton and Needale are covering the southern edges. So we're going to head up to the downfall. Uh, I believe there's some tents up there. We're just going to give them an early morning wake up, um, see, who, see if we can find these people. There's every chance that they might even be walking off already. You know, it's daylight now. If I was them, I would have tried to pack up and walk off. So we're going to try and uh, hopefully intercept them on the way down. <laughs> Kinder teams, Kinder teams, so we're about halfway up uh, the Three Knolls Path. Uh, beautiful morning, actually really nice to be out to be fair, um, if it wasn't so early. Um, but we've just heard on the radio that um, one of the dog teams, Dog Dave, has just uh, managed to find them uh, somewhere on the southern edge path that we're camping. So right now we're just going to hold position. Um, it, there's two outcomes to this, either they're okay, he'll, he'll, he's, got, so he's got a navigator with him so between them they'll warm them up and they'll walk them off um, or uh, worst case scenario for us is if one of them is really in a bad condition we might have to do a stretcher carry in which case we'll make our way round to the southern edges um, we'll probably meet a Land Rover, take some heavy gear because I imagine we're the closest party at the moment so I should imagine we'd meet a Land Rover, get the stretcher, a big, nice, warm ca casualty bag, um, take those up, get them wrapped in that, and, uh, and stretch them back down to Edo Cross to the Land Rovers. Um, so one or the other, um, if, it's, if they can walk off, it's a nice, quick, simple job. If they can't, it's going to be most of the morning, I would think, to try and get them back down. We just heard on the radio that um, the two casualties are okay to walk off under their own power. Uh, sun's out now, it's warming up, so I'm guessing uh, the fact that they were really cold, um, they've sort of gone away a little bit. Now they've been warmed up, they're good to walk, which is good, otherwise we'd have had quite a long protracted uh, carry off here. Um, we've been given a return to base, so we're just going to make our way back, but unfortunately it's still Covid, so we can't uh, get in any of the vehicles together, so we're going to walk down to the, back down to base, it's the longer walk for us. Uh, I suppose, big lesson from this one, and probably if you're watching this video you don't need telling, but the, um, the, the, the reason this has turned into a massive job, I mean, I haven't seen the figures yet, but I'm guessing probably 20 people a team from four teams, there would have been something like 80 people called out in the middle of the night to deal with this. Um, 
the real the, the reason so many are called out is because we don't have a firm location they could be anywhere so we've ended up uh, if, they, if they'd have if they could have either given us a lo- given the police a better location at the start <laughs> even if it was just a description that would have been that would have been good um, but as it was you know we couldn't get back in touch with them couldn't get the hold of their phone so that was it so I guess just as a final wrap up um, just looking at why that ended up into, in such a big call out for really such a small thing really um, I guess part of it was they'd made the decision to go wild camping on top of Kinder and it, it was pretty busy there's a lot of tents up there uh, spread out over the plateau but they'd gone in kind of um, those pop-up festival tents uh, with really thin sleeping bags so I think their equipment just wasn't really up to spending a night up on top of Kinder it's, it is a fairly serious place um, it was a nice night but if the weather had got any worse it'd have been in a real bad state um, and the other thing I suppose is just about um, they phoned the, the, the police to down 999 to their natural mountain rescue which is fine you know that's what they needed to do um, they then kind of said where they were on top of Kinder, but nothing more, no more details than that. And then they either lost signal or turned the phone off, and we couldn't use any of our location tools. So if we'd have managed to get a location for them and a grid reference, it would have been just a couple of, you know, one team go up there to make sure they're okay. As it was, it was, it was four full teams with probably 60 to 80 people out on the hill, um, all because we couldn't locate them. So that, that's, the, that's the learning point, I suppose, but that's my own rescue.